Welcome back to another action-packed episode where we're really trying to get as much work done as possible like the flooring, the paintwork, our garden steps and also finishing off the patio. We're so close to finishing our beautiful tiny home and can't wait to share it with you all very soon. So for the final push of hard work, let's get straight into it. Today our neighbour has gifted us a load of plants from his garden. He grows so many wonderful varieties of flowers and lots of different plants. Like just, it's so beautiful. And every now and again, he gives us some plants and flowers. So today he has gifted us so many. I can't even tell you how many plants he's given us, but around our gate area down at the bottom there, it's just full of plants so we're gonna start planting them up here at the tiny home today we've bought some of them up we've got this really big i don't know the name this one and i just bought a load of these plants beautiful beautiful flowers so yeah we're gonna get planting them next to our patio space there somehow What are we doing today then, Ru? Fort Meiji. Pate. A walking area, Meiji. It's concrete for a little bit, can rock under the Nice. Okay, so in our spare time, when we haven't been doing any building work on the tiny home here, we've been focusing our efforts on making the pathway, because that is what is going to connect our home down at the bottom there to our tiny home. So we have cleared our pathway that we want to go and be able to have this connection. It's a different pathway to what we were using before. It's more accessible and it's on the side of our property too. So with the pathway being at the side, it means the rest of the space can be used for planting like flowers, vegetables, more trees. And then all the way up along the pathway on either side, we're gonna plant even more stuff, which we have been doing. We've already started planting now that we want to get the concrete and steps put in place because we are in the monsoon season so every time it rains it's washing away what we've been working on so to be able to concrete it it's just going to finish off the pathway and allow us to have easy access to the tiny home so we're not slipping and sliding everywhere because the ground is very muddy and disgusting at this time of year and also we've chosen to make the pathway concrete the whole way because obviously we live in Sri Lanka so there are snakes, centipedes, scorpions so if there is a concrete pathway there's less chance of us standing on them because they're more visible. Rosie, <laughs> you gonna help us girl? What? Okay, so what are we doing today? Today, all of them level area, level concrete. Yeah. Next, uh, this this wood can be very long. Deep, long piece. And up to, uh, after this step making, this cutting. Cutting this piece. Mm. Now, cutting, good idea, different work here. Yeah, yeah. Basically, these pieces of wood we use over and over and over and over again. Yeah like the reusable times mm. 100 and then but we don't want to cut it right now for the steps because yeah. we're still using it so when we're like finished using these pieces of wood we yeah. can cut it right yeah. and then use it for the step yeah. 
So then all of our steps would be equal, but we don't want the pathway to be like super, super perfect. We want it to be rustic and fit with the vibe. And this is like a jungle pathway, right? So we want it to fit with that kind of style. We don't want it to be like modern looking or anything. So it's fine if it has some flaws and some issues, that's okay, it's all part of it. We're not gonna make it so that it's perfect. Like that's not our objective. Our aim is just to have like a super basic rustic pathway that can connect the down home to the tiny home at the top here and yeah so that we have like a guide of where we can plan extra things and so that we're not stepping on any of the nature that's around and our pathway is weaving around all of our trees that we have so we haven't had to cut any trees down for this we still got a load of cinnamon in place and we're just basically weaving our way through the land and back down to the bottom there ah good thinking we were Style hammer there. Rosie, what do you think? It's a good pathway. What do you think? <gasps> wow, you guys love the path. Also, I just want to say again that I think when we started making our tiny home here, people were concerned that we were cutting some of our cinnamon trees down and I can kind of understand why but we didn't cut down an excessive amount this land behind me here which is our land is still full of cinnamon like it's just insane and every time we harvest the cinnamon to obviously use for the preparation and to dry the cinnamon for the export which obviously we don't have a part in but people come to harvest our cinnamon cinnamon jungle with all the weeds growing through so at some point we'll tackle this and try to make sense of it again somehow but yeah you can't see it all the way down there is our cinnamon our land there's a lot and again behind here and at the side so yeah we still have a ton of cinnamon so don't worry that we're clearing our cinnamon because we're not we just want to make room for more plants more trees and yeah I'm not sure that the sky is in our favour for starting the cement work. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have a lot of rain very, very soon. We have just had a downpour of rain. I've had the buckets out collecting water so we can use the rainwater collection for our cement mixing. Genius, I know. Now we're just waiting for the last little bit of rain to pass. It's blown through this way to the east. And now we're always ready to start. Okay, that's it for today. I think we've done enough mixing of cement and everything. It's looking really, really good, even though it's not perfect. If it was perfect, it would look really, really odd because we want it to like bend and weave with all the trees and be like a jungle vibe, basically. So super happy with how it turned out. It's only this little half, not half, it's only this little section. We've still got many, many, many areas to do. So it's gonna take us a while, but I think if we do a little bit and often, it will soon all come together nicely. So these are your sample steps, yeah? Yeah. See if it works. <laughs> Look at that! 
Those are some sexy stairs, Maggie, at the way. Perfect. You happy? It's good, huh? It's good for the first steps that we've done in that way. Oh, nice. we planted this bamboo and it's already got new shoots growing on it absolutely amazing i was thinking that it wouldn't grow but it is good morning everyone today this little big training day this is start step making this sago new home so oh, see my helping one let's go let's go Ooh, run, run. Sun coming, very hot now. This power very, very beautiful is man. You're getting pro at this now, aren't you, Ruth? Professional step maker. So it's another beautiful day and the steps that Lahiri made yesterday are now dry, so we're taking off the wooden template to see how it looks. We are, I'd say, halfway to doing all of our steps and pathways, so this is really, really exciting, and it will soon be connecting our tiny home to our home down at the bottom. Come on, Ru. Yes. Whoa. Looks good, huh? Today is a big day up at our tiny home here, which we're calling Cashew House because of the very large cashew tree that we've built it next to. Today is a really big day because we are doing the floor. So to finish the floor means we can really excel and go super fast with the finish of the inside space. Obviously then we have to focus on the outside space, but that's fine. So we've got two people here today to help us. So there's four of us total. So Lahira and I are gonna start mixing all the cement, getting it all ready. And then the other two are gonna do all the leveling so we can be hopefully as productive as possible. It's quite a large floor space. Yesterday we did the bathroom, which is a really small floor space. So today it's like four times the size. So yeah, really excited for today. Really excited to get this finished. At some point soon, we will get our water installed here so that we're not having to bring up loads of buckets up the land to be able to do things like this <laughs> that should hopefully be maybe this week whilst we've been doing all the works up at our tiny home here i've also been propagating lots of spinach and then when they get the roots i then dot them around our land because i love spinach so much i would love to have a self-sufficient source of spinach that i can just get my hands on at any time and yeah so yeah i've just been propagating these it's just spinach that we've bought from the vegetable shops and then I soak it in water for like a week or something, changing the water occasionally. And then once they've got a good amount of roots on them, I then plant them into the ground. And this one I planted maybe one week ago and I didn't think it would grow because there weren't that many roots, but she's actually thriving in this area. So now I've got another couple stems I'm gonna plant in the same area here. I'm guessing the soil is super fertile and the spinach just really loves this kind of soil. There's nothing else on it, no chemicals, no fertilizer, nothing. It's just the soil, so 
yeah I'm gonna just keep planting these I'm doing this whilst the guys are doing all the sifting of the cement ready for us to start mixing so I thought I'd be productive and get some of this done too you guys are not gonna be allowed in here today our dogs absolutely love it up at the tiny home I think they just like chilling here and looking out over the view and just watching everything but they're not going to be allowed in there today. We're going to have to block off the doorways. We don't have the doors yet fitted because we have to wait for the floor to be done. So <laughs> we have to try to block this off so that they can't go in and put their little paw prints all over the floor, the new flooring. <laughs> oh, I think they're going to be really sad. been quite productive so far today we've done most of the floor is done but we had to order more sand so we just got the sand delivery because we didn't have enough to complete all of the cement of the floor and the her and I have just been busy we've been mixing all the titanium ready for when the cement on the floor is done we can then start the titanium it all takes quite a lot of time but I feel like we're really getting through the day but we've been pushing on so much. I can't even talk. I feel like I'm so tired. I'm so hungry. God, I buddy guinea. So I'm a bit lagging now. My energy levels are low. So I'm gonna shovel one more bag, one more bag, one more wheelbarrow load of sand. And then we've got three more wheelbarrows to go. <laughs> And then I think that's enough shifting materials for the day. We can get the floor done. And I think it's only like two o'clock. So we're doing really, really well for time. A couple steps, but in slow motion. Lahira and I just took a small break to go into town, run some errands. We got the guys lunch, did a bit of shopping and we've come back to find the floor is like maybe 80% finished. It's looking absolutely amazing and just so excited to push on for this last bit. I think we have like one third left to do. So it shouldn't take that much longer. And I think it's around, actually I don't know what the time is. But we're definitely going to be done before dark. Yesterday was quite a busy day where we were focusing on the floor. It's looking really, really good today. Obviously, it's not finished. We have noticed there's two different shades because we had to mix a bit of extra titanium so i think we mix it slightly different but it's okay i think we have to sand it down anyway and then wax so then i think it will look much better especially then when we put things in the space like the furniture then it won't be so noticeable and we have to finish off the area by where the sliding door is going to be but anyway yesterday was so busy i think when we're doing these kind of days when it's so full-on with all the building and the mixing cement and everything that goes into it because there's so much energy being expelled into the work we kind of forget to film so i didn't do <laughs> as much filming as i would have liked to have done yesterday i set out in the morning to do a whole day's worth of filming but just everything gets away with me and then i kind of forget to do the filming so sorry about that but i hope all these videos are making sense because i feel like as we are filming this project we are always jumping around from here to there it's never set as each video goes if that makes sense we just film in lots of different areas and then pop it together maybe some things go in a different video some things go into this video 
So it's kind of all over the place at the moment, but when I sit down with the footage and start editing, it's all gonna make sense, and it will make sense to you guys when you're watching it, but to us right now, it kind of doesn't make sense because we're just doing so much and cramming as much in and doing little bits wherever we can whilst waiting to do other things. So today, we're, we've just come up here, we've seen the floor, it's looking all right. Today, we're now gonna see about the outside paint. We've just got two colors that we like the color of, but we're just a bit undecided. So we've got two small buckets, one liter each, of two different shades of brown. So we want it to be super natural and as earthy vibe as possible. I kind of like it. Mm. You don't like it? Maybe it'll look different once it's dry though. No. See, that's really light, isn't it? You know when to really get something into perspective, you have to walk away and like just like look at other things and then look back and get like your first opinion. I kind of like the second one, the, the lighter one. Ooh. Yeah, right, you go look. Just look the other way for like five seconds and maybe blink ten times. Like open, close your eyes ten times. Think of something different. Okay, now look. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe neither of them are right. All right, another plan is we've mixed some clay and we're going to add some of the paint into the clay. Let's just see if this works. We're just trying different options, you know? This favorite color, this color. The perfect color. Yeah. This is the one? Yeah. Actually, it is. That's really good. This is what we were going for, 100%. Yes! Yes! I like the the clay that's in, mixed into it as well with the texture. That's the one, Ruru. That is the vibe. Let's see what it looks like when it's dry. That's the one. That is a big storm heading our way. So let's see if this will stay on the wall with the downpour. Are you happy with the colour, Ru? Mm. Yeah, it's nice. And two minutes later, in comes the rain. So let's see how our new clay holds up on the outside there. It looks really good though. If you look at it from the outside with the trees, it looks really nice. So today is the day we are starting the painting on the outside of our tiny home. Yesterday we looked at some different colour options and we've decided we don't like either of these three but we really like this colour which is actually a mix of outside weatherproof paint and clay. So we are sticking to our original idea of using clay on the outside of our home to give it that natural earthy look but it's also mixed with paint so hopefully that will deter the bugs like the termites and everything because they love the clay so yeah that's what we're starting with today we're gonna make up a load and then get going on this side which is the side of the tiny home and then the front of the tiny home so the clay that we intend to use is actually currently fully loaded with termites so what we're doing we're just breaking off clumps of the clay and then letting the termites disperse and go back into the rest of the clay so that we can use this one without disturbing. Wow, it looks delicious. Do you like the colour? Yeah. Color is everything. What do you guys think of the color? It's good, huh? I'm obsessed. It looks so good. It doesn't even look like our tiny home, but it is, and it looks amazing. 
this morning we are getting lots of loose ends tightened up so I've been finishing some of the outside painting well not really the outside it's like the archway between our outside bathroom and our tiny home so I've just finished the painting on that we've also got Ranji is doing the outside plaster of the lower level of the house to like finish it off, ready for our patio work which starts tomorrow. Then we're also finishing off the outside frame of the window frame and we're doing some tile stuff. We have to put some extra tiles on our tiny home just to finish off the roofing there. There's a lot going on today. We're really trying to get everything sorted and finalized ready for the next step which is like adding the interior like the furniture and everything which we're very very close to but we also have to finish the floor today the floor is what's taking us a long time and we have to have the floor finished in order to do the rest of the work basically so we just got quite a lot of little things to check off another good morning to you guys thanks for joining us again today it's a big day we are tackling the patio floor. It's quite a big space. We've got a couple of ideas for this area, which we're really excited to like, just get the floor done so we can get this area finished. The tiny home is really nearly finished. We're so excited. So yeah, now it's just left this big space. So I'll just quickly show you around the area. This is all gonna be concreted so it's a really nice area you can do like yoga here or have food here or just meditate or just watch the view with a beer or glass of wine and then in this area here this is our cashew tree so what we're gonna do we're gonna make a nice flower bed around this area so that will be really beautiful and it will work really nicely with our clay paint here and then on this side, we're leaving this side as like a mud kind of area. And this is where we're gonna add like sun lounges. So it's perfect to relax in this space, get a bit of a tan. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan for today. After discussing our plan at length, and then noting the levels, all whilst being supervised, it was then time to flatten the space and then correct some mistakes that we just made. So we've started the cement work on the patio. We've got quite a good system in place. The hero's job is to go and collect the materials from the back where the delivery always offloads them, bring them here and mix the cement. All of these things I can't do. I'm just really struggling. This morning I did do two wheelbarrows full of sand but the ground is so boggy I just get really stuck in the mud and then I can't push the wheelbarrow and then it causes me lots of injuries I've already cut my legs several times this morning so Lahira is doing that then once the cement is mixed I then move the cement putting it in the wheelbarrow and then moving it to where Ranji is leveling the patio then whilst I'm not doing any of that and whilst I'm waiting for Lahiri to move the materials and mix the cement, I'm cracking on with finishing all of the painting in the bedroom. So some of the walls we actually didn't do <laughs> because we got sidetracked with other jobs. So I'm finishing off those two walls and then all the rest of the areas that haven't been done, like the area near to the floor. So that is all happening today. So it's again, another productive day. And we've chosen a really good day to do the patio floor because there is no rain. We have blue skies today. So it's the perfect day to do a load of concrete work. We couldn't have timed this better really. So yeah, hopefully it will get drying nice and quickly. And then hopefully, the rain is not gonna sweep in because in this kind of season, we think it's gonna be a beautiful day. And then within 20 to 30 minutes, there's already a tropical storm that's blowing through. But so far, so good. It's looking really good weather today. Help has come to the rescue today. A couple of Lahiri's friends have come to help us with mixing the cement, which means I've been free to finish all of the painting, 
So everything is finished in here. The only thing that we have to finish is the electrics, like putting the switches in place. And then we can start adding the furniture. Oh no, wait, we still have to wait for the doors. <laughs> the doors haven't arrived yet, um, but they, they should have come today, but today is actually a boyer day. So hopefully they will come tomorrow. So then we can actually finish off this space. And unfortunately, I don't think we'll finish off the patio flooring today because we've also run out of the chip. And I think we've only got two bags of cement left, so it's not enough to finish everything. But we can get that finished in the next couple of days, so. And we still have a beautiful day. Last concrete mix, only one mix, finish. Anyway, whilst the guys are making one last cement mix, by the way, we don't actually have a cement mixer, so all of the cement that we do, every bit of cement for this house and our pathway and everything ever, pretty much, except for the big slab that we did on our big house down here, all cement is hand mixed, okay? We don't have the luxury of having a cement mixer. So it's like extra hard work, extra time, extra energy. Anyway, whilst the guys are doing that cement mix, because it does take a little while to do, I'm heading down to the house to let the dogs out because they haven't been allowed out because of the cement on the patio. I'm gonna go and make us some lunch. I'm gonna make a nice salad today. I am almost finished making the salad, but the last thing I need is a lemon or a lime. So our lime tree is growing so well. She has so many fruits on it at the moment. We just have to find the perfect lemon or lime to put on our salad. Lunch is served. I'm so, so hungry now. I'm fasting at the moment. I think it's around four o'clock. The last time I ate was nine o'clock last night, so I can't do the maths. But it's been a while since I've had some food, so I'm very, very keen for this beautiful bowl of salad we've got lettuce tomato cucumber raw onion chia seeds hemp seeds sesame seeds lemon from the garden a tahini sauce and then also this vegetable which i'm not too sure of the name it's kind of like a funny cross shape thing so yeah this looks absolutely delicious i'm going to dig in and then probably head back up to see how the guys are getting on with the patio i'm pretty sure they're nearly done Today is our last day of concrete work at our tiny home. So today we're finishing off the patio area that we didn't manage to finish yesterday. So I'm mixing all of the cement and then Lahiri is taking it to Ranji who's finishing off the space really nice. And it's another beautiful day. So in our patio area, now we are working on the flower bed. So we've left this area. I don't know if you can see it very well. We've left this area right next to our cashew tree. So she has lots of space to keep growing, but also we can plant lots of flowers here. And I'd really like to plant things like lavender, really nice smelling herbs that also keep the mosquitoes away. So. That's going to be this space here. flower bed now we're gonna go and collect some flowers when we were in where were we room oh Giritale. we went to this really lovely house they had so many different flowers and we actually gave them money to give us some of their seeds so we sprinkled a load of their seeds in our garden when we came home and they have grown really well and some of them even have got flowers but the peacock does take some of the flowers early morning when she comes so we're gonna move some of those flowers to our flower bed. Thank you.
I was just saying to Rue then that where we would planted these seeds it's very very hot there's like no shade in that area so I feel like well it's an experiment we'll see if they thrive in a more shaded space actually I probably should do some research on this <laughs> but we'll see we'll see how it goes our soil seems to be really fertile so things grow really really easy but it'll be interesting to see what does better in shade and what does better in sunlight and this flower patch has the best of both worlds shade and sunlight Join us in the next episode, the final episode of our tiny home build, where we're getting stuck in to all the finishing touches. The space is transforming bit by bit, and we're excited to now turn our focus to the interior design and making our tiny home truly come to life.